when I got in the bed just to cuddle, you know, trying to be romantic. And I wrapped my arm around her. She jumped up in an irate manner and was like, I had three kids. I don't want any more. I'm like, from a hug? He don't just hug me or cuddle with me. He get bare butt booty naked and stuff all on me. I don't want to be feeling that. Get over, move. Get off the bed. I understand. She says your body is signaling intent. She's the judge who gives rules on the law and life. She's intense with common sense. She's Judge Lynn Toller on Divorce Court, where real couples deal with real life. Christopher and Tieria met at the restaurant where she worked. She made him wait in line 15 minutes before she gave him her number, and that turned him on. But now, after four years of marriage and three children, this couple is completely turned off by each other. I got in bed with her, and it was like I stepped in the ring with Mike Tyson. Like she turned around and hit me and knocked me to the floor. Christopher Scott came to my job. He came screaming, talking about who the H texting you on Facebook. Can Christopher and Tieria flip the off switch back to on again? Or will this be the end of their marriage? Today on Divorce Court. All rise. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. You may be seated. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Christopher Scott and Tiaria Scott. The two of you have been married for four years. You have three children together, one, two, and six months old. Uh, you are seeking a divorce here today. And Mr. Scott, you're looking for reimbursement from, from Mrs. Scott for some damage that she's been doing to your your life over over time, and we will talk about that momentarily. But before we do, I'm going to start with Mrs. Scott. Why don't you tell me a little bit about your marriage and why we're here in divorce court today? Your Honor, I'm so sick and tired of Chris cheating. I went, got on my laptop, logged onto his Facebook, and he was on there writing to another female talking about how much he wished he was with that family, how much he did not want to be with me, and how much he can do better with her. So another incident was when I was sitting home, I had just had our second child. And I'm sitting at home on Facebook, I see his profile hopping on and offline. I get on his profile and I see a long sheet, like it was just so long, it was ridiculous. It was long, it was him and another female text message and they were like literally having internet sex. When I seen that, I went off. Like I took all his clothes, threw them out the window, took his phone, took his drawers, everything it's that was childish. in the room and burnt it. He put me through so much, Your Honor, I just couldn't take it. I want to know, were you on Facebook with a woman talking about how you would rather be with her than your that wife? True? That she, you tell, <clears throat> is that true? Is I was that on true? Facebook explaining my situation, explaining. why it was wrong, why I shouldn't be in that predicament. Explaining I'm how sexual I'm a good man to my well, family. Hang on, hang on. What was your predicament, actually? I'm a good man to my family. I take care of my kids. Right. I take care of my wife. Right. But when I don't get that in return, what am I supposed to do? Sit there and look like a dummy? You take care of us. You take care of us. Three kids. I was at the house all by myself, waking up every middle of the night, giving them bottles, full of milk. I asked him to change them. <clears throat> it's PlayStation. Oh, I, babe, hold on. I get to them later. I roll them over. Babe, can you wake up? Can you get the kids? No, I'm tired. I got to get to work in the morning. M Mr. Mr. Scott? Your Honor. Two, one, at six months. Right. You do understand the magnitude of that gig, right? Yes. With all that as background, you tell me why you believe it's okay for you to do the Facebook cheating and the flirting. Because, Your Honor, I'm, I'm dealing with a lot of different issues with her as well. Okay, it's tell me what they are. It's just not me jumping on Facebook. I mean, it's, it's the lack of intimacy at home. All right, tell for me example, about that. For example, one what time, lack of is that? I got in bed with her, and it was like I stepped in the ring with Mike Tyson. Like she turned around and hit me and knocked me to the floor. What? She knocked you knocked out of me the bed? To the floor, out of the bed to the floor. Yeah, I'm gonna knock him down. So I grabbed my pillow and blanket and laid in that spot so she could see the results of her actions the next morning. And did, did, did you knock him out of the bed? Yeah, I don't care. He deserves And to be to honest, when she's three younger, kids and he's I still slept better more? on the floor. No. You want more children? No, I don't want more children. No, you don't. She just said that. I don't want more children, but like another situation, 
when I got in the bed just to cuddle, you right. know, trying to be romantic. And I wrapped my arm around her. She jumped up in an irate manner and was like, I had three kids. I it's don't want not anymore. I'm romantic. like, from a hug? He don't just hug me or cuddle with me. He get bare butt, booty naked, and <laughs> stuff all on me. I don't want to be feeling that. Get over, move. Get off the bed. I, 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 I understand. She, she says your body is signaling intent. I mean, <laughs> if she didn't like it, we wouldn't be here today. Right, right. You know, right, so. Right, right. You say your husband is, doesn't appreciate all that you do. No, he don't. Explain he, that. He do not appreciate all that I do. I got a job interview. And, you know, to think that he would, you know, okay, babe, you finally got a job. You know, it's two years you've been in the house. I'm gonna let you do this. He gave me $60. He was like, well, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in a tank because he used the car that night. Mm -hmm. I get up to go to, to the job interview in the morning. It was like at eight in the morning. I get up to go and my car stopped on me because you can't tell in the car where the gas range is because it was knocked off. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking the car is full and it cut off on me on the highway. I had to call my grandma. First, I called him. He was like, well, can you call your grandma? Call my grandma for what? You should have put the money in the tank. Like, seriously? Did you tell her I'm gonna, I'm gonna fill it up for you so when you go to this job interview and you didn't do it? Yes, I did. And for the simple fact, if I would have put the gas in there, she probably would have headed straight to the mall rather than where morning. she was supposed to go. At 8 in the morning. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Scott, that is the worst answer I have ever heard. Your let, Honor. Me, let me say this. Your Honor. No matter where she was, no matter where she was headed, whether it was somewhere she should have gone or shouldn't have gone, she shouldn't have been put in a position to be stranded. You don't leave women out in the world on a vehicle, on a road, can't get somewhere. If you didn't want her to go, you should have told her, look, baby, I didn't put no gas in the car. Gone ahead and had the argument and left. You don't strand women in the street. When Divorce Court continues, what happens in the courtroom that makes Judge Lynn speak out? What is wrong with you people? This is not how you run life. Everyone warned you about marrying your mate. If divorce is the only solution, call toll free at 1-877-311-2222 or visit our website at divorcecourt.com or become a fan at facebook.com slash divorcecourt. Divorce Court is back with the case of Tiaria Scott, who wants to leave her husband of four years because she says he's a sex addict. But is she a shopaholic who spends money the family doesn't have? We left the mall with bags of boots that was two and three hundred dollars. Your Honor. Yes. This man is so cheap. One day we was going Christmas shopping for, we only had, we had two children at the time, but we was only Christmas shopping for one and a couple of our family members. I talked to him about probably a year and some months ago about becoming a Jehovah's Witness. While we're doing Christmas shopping, here he go, uh, babe, I think we should just become Jehovah's Witness right now. All of a sudden. they don't buy Christmas presents. All of right. a sudden. Come on. You didn't want to go to the hall not once. I mean, buying Christmas gifts for Tierra is like buying Christmas gifts for the whole state, like the whole country. It's just, it's, it's too much. I would be in debt. You're saying to me she's high maintenance. Is that, is that what you're telling me? I mean, me? It's, and it's not what high maintenance as far as... What kind of things does she buy or want that you think are just well, beyond example, your means? Well, another situation where I asked for a $65 tele, uh, cell phone. She told me no, because she didn't have enough. But yet, we left the mall with bags of boots that was two and three hundred dollars. You buying two and three hundred dollar boots? Yes, I do, Your Honor. I like shoes. I like clothes. I like stuff. I do not like being out here looking like a has been. Period. Uh -huh. Do you have enough money for all of that? I yeah, mean... I have enough money. He don't have enough money, but I have enough money. Yeah, I mean you're having trouble filling up the tank. Everybody wear this, that, and you got two hundred dollar shoes. Does something about that sound a little inconsistent to you? No, it don't sound consistent. I just. You just what? I just think I feel I deserve nice stuff. And if he's not giving it to me, then I got to get it on my own. Mm -hmm. You know, I think I deserve an entire private island. I really do. <laughs> I work hard, I did this, I, 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 and I deserve a yacht and an airplane, all of that. But I, I can't have it because I can't afford it. And you can't... We all deserve stuff we can't afford, and you've got to got to know the difference between the two. That's all I'm gonna say on that one. I'm I just gonna leave that there. It's just, I 
settle on something, John. but I don't settle on all. Yeah. You say Mr. Scott has a very bad temper. Explain yes, that to me. One day, Christopher Scott came to my job acting irate because somebody texted me on Facebook. He came screaming, talking about who the H texting you on Facebook? Why you talking to him? Why you being like this? Why he get the attention that I don't get? My boss came and was like, excuse me, sir. He talking about, what you talking about excuse me for? I'm handling something with my wife. Can you get on? No, he can't get on. That's my boss and you in his place. Well, for the simple Ms. fact. Mr. Scott, <laughs> did that in fact happen? Yes, Your Honor, it did. You got up there and clowned on her job. Yes. Okay. I was and so did, embarrassed. Did you, and, and did they put you out? Yeah, eventually. Eventually, they put you out. What did you think that was going to achieve? I mean, because you could have gotten her fired, right? I quit. True. You quit the job. I was so embarrassed. I could have fell on the floor and had a seizure and not been so embarrassed. You quit because you were embarrassed? Yes, it was, that was so embarrassing. What is wrong with you people? <laughs> this, is not, this is not how you run life. This My coming parents from a mother. Just drilled into me. You get a gig and you keep a gig. And if you before you leave that gig, you make sure you have two more up lined up. I mean, you can't because you're embarrassed. Yeah, I was too embarrassed. It was just, it wasn't no. How can I go back to work with that? Well, like, what are you gonna write? He might have read it again. I don't have it because I was embarrassed. You gonna send that in? I had backup for that month. For, for that, that month? month? Oh my God. <laughs> When Divorce Court Continues, has Tieria's obsession with shopping crossed the line? I go to check the mailbox, I have a bill off my credit card for $400. Now, Miss Scott, did you take the man's credit card? If you would like your case heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com and follow us on Twitter at Divorce Court. Divorce Court returns with the case of Christopher Scott, who claims that his wife is bleeding his bank account dry and find out if Christopher is doing everything he can to help his marriage. You really don't come across a man to tell his wife, you don't have to work, I will take care of all the bills, and actually do it. I've done it for three years. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm tired of it now because it's like I'm getting taken advantage of. Well, how is she taking advantage of you? I, I, explain. With the, the, the extra shopping and it's like, okay, if I'm at work, she asked me for money, I'm not there to see what she's getting. Right. You know, and then it's like she's very secretive with, when she does things. For example, one day, I mean, she snuck into my wallet, took my credit card, left. I didn't know where she went. I didn't you know. I didn't want to hound her. I stayed at home with my kids. He didn't want to hound me. She came back home a couple hours later. She ran so fast in the room, she forgot to close the front door. I'm looking, waiting on somebody else to come in. Nobody's coming. I'm like, okay, are you done? She comes back downstairs smiling. I'm like, well, what, what's going on? Didn't say anything. So a couple days later, I go to check the mailbox. I have a bill off my credit card for $400. And I'm like, well, where did this come from? I confronted her about it. She he just laughed. He got something out of it. Don't act like you ain't she getting just laughed. out of it. So... Now, Miss Scott, did you take the man's credit card? It's our credit card. It's the joint <laughs> card. It's not just his. If I feel like I want to use it, yes, because he broke mine. OK. She he, said he, joint. He tore yours up? He broke mine. So yeah, I did take you know, his. She said his wallet. Joint. Break. That's an odd word he, to use. He tore it up. Yeah, he just cracked it. Because he was tired of what you were spending. <laughs> I don't know what he was tired of. That's then he what reported the his card he stolen. Huh? He reported it stolen when I was going shopping that day. That's why I didn't tell to him what I got. You? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That was cold-blooded, you know what I mean? I, I, mean, I, mean, I, I got to think about my kids. At all, but that was cold. I got to think about my kids. So I handle business as a man. I take They're care of my family. And stuff right? Of me. And, I, and, I, and I appreciate that, because don't... Everyone doesn't come in here and do that. I, and I appreciate the fact that you do that. I guess my question to you is, I mean, is that the only job that you believe you have with respect to your wife and three children? Yeah, that's, Honestly, that's I exactly. mean, that's how I feel. That's all I live for is my family, my wife and my kids. No, no, that's me. not the question that I ask you. So I'm, listen to what I'm asking. Mm -hmm. Do you believe that supporting them financially is your sole job 
with respect to them? Or are there other things that a husband and father needs to do <laughs> to fulfill his obligations? Uh, yes, I do them. Is I care for them, I love them, and I show it. Like, when my <laughs> kids get sick, I'm the one sitting up with them all night. Take them to the doctor. Do now, you and your I wife do, do anything together? No. Explain why. He don't want to do anything with me. If I because go... Because if I tell her, let's go to the movies, why? So we can get <laughs> home and, and, and have sex again? I'm like, come on. I mean, I'm just trying to be nice. Sex with him. I'm everything. trying to be nice. We could be eating. He, well, I know I'm going to get lucky tonight. No, you ain't going to get lucky. When Divorce Court continues, will Tiaria have to pay up for cutting up? She bleached my clothes, then burnt them right after. When did she do that? One of them cases when she got mad. Divorce Court returns with the case of Christopher and Tiaria Scott, who have three children together and are seeking a divorce after four years of marriage. Tell me about the $3,000 you want, Mr. Scott. Well, I wanted $3,000 for her burning my clothes. I had to, you know, go and get a whole new wardrobe. And what did she? She bleached my clothes, then burnt them right after. When did she do that? One of them cases when she got mad and. I got mad after that internet sex on Facebook. And could, I mean, could you really blame me? Like she could have left me an outfit at least to go. You what, know what for? I had to go. Go in your work, work clothes. My, go mean... go somewhere in your work clothes. Okay. That's just how you made me feel. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Here. Here's, here's where we are. Here's where we are. Mr. Scott, I'm going to tell you this. I think you are suffering from, uh, if I'm making the money, I do nothing else. That's it and that's all. Being a husband and a father involves a lot of stuff. And part of it involves making her feel wanted and special. Some women shop to fill up that home. I don't know if that's what she's doing, but it sounds like she's doing cathartic shopping, that, that, that she, she needs to, I deserve, I deserve. When you hear that, I deserve, I deserve, you mean, it means I'm unfulfilled, I'm unhappy, so I'm doing this to make myself okay. If she's more okay with you at home or whatever, and you pay that attention, she might be less likely to shop. Then on the other hand, some women just high maintenance and like to shop too much. I'm not high maintenance. Hang, hang just... on, and need to pull it back because they can't afford it, which is which may be what you're doing. So each of you has to look at what they're doing. One, two, and six months. I mean, what what a job! What a what a job! And you guys got married when you were what 19 and 23? Yes, 18. Ma 18 and 23. You were children yourselves. I think. You two need to fight through this and get to the other side. You have, you, you're not old enough and you haven't been together long enough to know how to get, pa get past where it gets ugly. You two have, get off the Facebook. It's a nice place to be if you can handle it, but it's like crack out there for mm -hmm. some people. If you can't handle it and all these, just get off. Get off for the, for the babies. You don't need to be on there anyway. You got somebody two, one, and six months. All your time should be sucked up anyway. That's how so you, you know should have that time. kind of time. You know what I mean? They need a whole lot of attention. They need a whole lot of care. They need a whole lot of direction. You spend your time doing that, and they need a whole lot of money, too. They don't $200 boots. You can't afford it. So concentrate on that, OK? Now, you're not going to leave, are you? No, ma'am. You're not going to leave, I'm are leaving. you? Well, if you do leave, you owe him $3,000 because you cannot uh, burn people's property. It is vandalism, it is against the law, and it cannot be supported. $3,000 in favor of Mr. Scott. It is so ordered. Thank you. All rise. Parties may leave the courtroom. Tiaria says things are a lot better since she and Christopher appeared in divorce court. She says they now sit down and talk about problems that crop up in their marriage and where their relationship needs to go next. As an aside, she says that at first she felt a little intimidated by Judge Lynn, but that her fear subsided within seconds and she felt like she was talking to her own mother.